Hello everyone, a warm welcome to all of you in the today's daily current affairs session of EduTap and I hope that your preparations for the upcoming SEBI exam are really going well. And my dear learners, in the today's session we are going to discuss the top PAB news. But before beginning the session, if you are new to your YouTube channel, kindly subscribe it and press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates of the courses and videos offered by us. And you can also join our Telegram channel to get the access to the PDF of the sessions. To join the Telegram channel, kindly click on the link given in the description below. So let's move on to the session. Let's get started. And here is the very first topic that we are going to discuss in the today's session. That is NIPER Research Portal. So recently, Dr. Mansukh Mandaviya has recently launched the NIPER Research Portal. And in the today's session, we will be discussing that which was the organization behind the creation of this portal, why this portal has been launched. And apart from that, we will also be discussing that what is going to be the impact of this particular portal. So my dear learners, we all know that India, see India is one of the, it is the third largest pharmaceutical manufacturing country of the world. And research and development being one of the very important pillars for the growth of one of the economies. And my dear learners, in order to imbibe the research and innovation and in order to provide a holistic ecosystem, we need to gather the, and to synergize the different stakeholders which are involved in the research and development in this particular sector. This particular portal has been launched. So here you can see that when we talk about the NIPER, it stands for the National Institute of the Pharmaceutical Education and Research and this NIPER research portal has been recently launched. So when we talk about the organization which was behind the creation of this portal, then here you can see the very first thing that is important is the Department of Pharmaceuticals which has created this particular portal and why this portal has been launched. This portal has been launched to enhance the industry academia collaboration. See, I have already told you about this, that all the stakeholders which are involved in the research and development of the pharmaceutical sector, so in order to synergize them, in, in order to provide a collaborative approach in the research and development for the nation, this particular portal has been created by the Department of Pharmaceuticals. And here you can see that this portal is going to disseminate the information about all the uh, NIPERS as well as the research activities and the patents which are being filed by them and apart from that the publication information at one place. So this portal is going to be a one-stop solution for all these stakeholders that is these particular seven institutions of the NIPER as well as some other organizations as well which are involved in the research and development of this pharmaceutical sector. So apart from that, this particular portal is also going to track the research and the task of all the NIPER institutes and it is also going to enable the industries and other stakeholders to know about them. So that means it is really going to collaborate. It is going to enable them to collaborate the industry as well as academia together so that they can work towards the research and development of the pharmaceutical sector of our country. So all in all, what exactly is going to be the work of this particular portal? It is going to be authenticate the availability of the research work that is presently going on. Okay, so I hope that this is very much clear to all of you. Now when we talk about that, what exactly is going to be the impact? What will be the impact of this collaboration between the industry and the academia in the research and developmental work? So what exactly that will be? See, it is going to help the researchers and especially the industry to get in touch with the relevant organization that what organization is working on what project and they can easily approach those organizations in order to give their input as well. Okay, and apart from that, this is going to enable them to work together and make the research more purposeful and meaningful and hence it is going to bring together the research institutions which are spread across the different departments within the governments. And in order to make it more impactful, recently the Ministry of Chemicals and the Fertilizers has requested all such relevant stakeholders to join this portal. And these uh, institutions are such as the Department of the Biotechnology, the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research, Ayush ICMR, that is the Indian Council of Medical Research and also the DRDO. So I hope that this is very much clear to all of you. Now, before moving on to the practice question, let's also understand that what exactly these NIPER institutes are. See, 
when we talk about these sniper institutes these are the institutes of the national importance which are imparting the pg and the phd degree in the pharmaceutical field and these particular organizations are being functioning under the it is of the Department of Pharmaceuticals under the Ministry of Chemical and Fertilizer. And when we talk about the very first such organization, the very first such institute which was being uh, constituted in India, then it was Naipur SAS Nagar, which is located in Mohali, which was the very first Naipur, which was being established in year 1998. And the government used to give annual grant in aid to run these particular institutes. See, this was the very first institute in this particular series and after the institution of this, various other Naipur institutes have been located, have been constituted, have been established in these particular locations that is Hajipur, Hyderabad, Ahmedabad, Rai Bareilly, Guwahati and Kolkata. So I hope that this particular portal is very much clear to all of you. We have discussed all the key points that you are required to remember from the exam point of view in order to answer the question successfully and now let's move on to the very first practice question which is based on this particular topic that is the NIPER research portal which has been launched recently in order to answer this question successfully what you are required to do you are required to identify the correct statement in relation with this particular research portal and then tell me in the comment section below that what exactly is the right answer to this question and here you can see the very first statement it says that it has been created by the department of pharmaceuticals the second statement says it has been developed with an aim to disseminate the information about all the NIPER and their research activities which is also correct now the third statement says that NIPERs are the institutes of the national importance which imparts the post graduation and PhD degrees in the pharmaceutical field which is also correct so the right answer to this question will be option E that is all of the above so this was one of the question which can be framed from this particular kind of news and there are other such questions as well which can be framed as well so for that you can refer to the discussion and you can refer to this particular uh, information that we have discussed in the today's discussion okay so now let's move on to the next topic which is here on your screen that is the second asian digital ministers meeting so recently recently during the second asian digital ministers meeting which is the annual meeting which is being held between the asian countries between the digital ministers of these asian countries during this particular meeting the india asia digital work plan 2022 has been approved and when we talk about this particular meet this particular meet was being co-chaired by the Minister of State for Communication from the Indian side and the Minister of Transport and Communications from Myanmar. So this is one such part that is really very important that who chaired this particular meet that is these are the two people who have chaired, co-chaired this particular meet that is the second Asian Digital Ministers meeting. So now when we talk about that what exactly this Asian India Asian Digital Work Plan 2022 which has recently received the approval so my dear learners when we talk about this particular work plan 2022 this includes the systems in order to combat the usage of the stolen mobile phones and it also aims to counterfeit these mobile handsets apart from that it also aims to establish the wi-fi access network interface for the nationwide public internet that means providing the internet facilities providing internet facilities with the help of wi-fi at the public areas and you can take this example like on the indian railway station we have seen such kind of hot wi-fi hotspots in order to uh, access the internet facilities okay now the very third important point is that the capacity building and the knowledge sharing in emerging areas such as the information and communication technologies which includes the internet of things advanced communi uh, advanced satellite communications as well as 5g okay now when we talk about before uh, moving on to the practice question let's discuss it what exactly this ADG MIN is all about. See, it is an annual meeting of the telecom ministers of these 10 Asian countries and what these countries are. I have mentioned the name of these countries. You can go through them and now let us move on to the practice question 2 which is here on your screen and here in this question. See, 
First of all, some information has been given that recently one such kind of plan was being approved during the second ADGMIN minister's meeting and what exactly you are required to identify? You are required to identify the name of that particular plan which has been recently approved by during this particular meet and as per our discussion the right answer for this question will be option A that is India Asian Digital Work Plan 2022. So I hope that this is very much clear to all of you and now let's move on to the googly question for our today's session. And here my dear learners today the googly question is being based on the handbook on global good practices for the cooperatives. See recently I have taken a detailed session on this particular part and if you have not watched this particular session you can just click here in order to access in order to view that particular session and after viewing that you can answer this particular question which is based on the handbook on the global good practices for the cooperatives. Now when we talk about the homework question from the previous session which is really really a very important question that is who among the following was recently appointed as the India's new chief economic advisor? And the right answer for this question is option A that is Dr. V. Anant Nageshwaran. He is the person who is going to give a detailed presentation. See, he is a person who has yesterday given the detailed explanation about the economic survey which was being released yesterday. Okay. So now my dear learners, when we talk about the star performers from our previous session, then I am really happy and glad to tell you that today I am having really a very long list of these top performers and who are these top performers? These are the performers who have answered the homework question and the googly question which I have asked in the previous session. And these people are Venkat Kiran, Vishal Srivastav, Janani Selvi, then we have Shubham Arya, Vishal Srivastav, Mukesh, Divakar, Yukti, Harsha, Shivam and Ravi Khan. So all these people are the star performers. And if you also want your name to be mentioned here in the upcoming session, then kindly answer this homework question. And this particular question is being that in this question you are required to identify the name of the organization which has been recently onboarded by the Employees Provident Fund organization for the social security coverage that means to provide the services and to fulfill the social security needs of the employees of this particular organization. So whether it is Coal India Limited or it is Air India, NTPC, Bail or Bill. Do answer the question in the comment section below. And now my dear learners, that was all from this particular session. I really believe that today's session was useful and fruitful to all of you. And if you have liked the session, do give a thumbs up in the comment section below. And if you are having any queries, then you can drop us a mail at hello at the rate edutab.co.in and you can also call us at 814-620-7241. So thank you for joining us. Wish you all happy learning.